Hello everyone, my Serang here, and we're just playing some more Royal Rampage. It got updated recently, so we don't have all these, like, absurd percentage health boosts that make everything unkillable at rank 15. So, this should be very possible. Oh, one thing, one thing that's kind of funny is at rank 12 you lose 2 ammo, and at rank 14 you lose another ammo for a total of minus 3 ammo. So this game's actually unwinnable with the Richard the Third at rank 14 and 15 because you you fire all three of your shells and then you can't then you can't reload anymore so that's pretty silly anyway um yeah let's this game's too hard i clicked endless by accident all right so yeah we'll play some rank 15 with the hmm I've played with the Solomon al already. Like, it's obviously a strong gun. The fact that you don't get aim penalties at any of these rank difficulty modifiers, it really helps a lot. I... Okay, I'm going to try the Ramses. It has a fire range of two, but a damage... Yeah, it has, it has an awful fire range, but it has a very high damage. So we'll see if that's good enough. Um, yeah, Rooks have seven health. So we can one-shot them. We could one-shot them with the um, the Solomon or the Victoria because they start with they start with five damage, but rank fifteen gives you plus two more damage. Anyway, oh, I didn't actually like. Yeah, so we get you get two kings on uh, rank fifteen. But you, yeah, you get an extra firepower. Okay, let's one-shot this brook. Amazing. So I only have four ammo to work with at a time. Which, you know, that's... Which is a little concerning. But that's okay. Alright, let's see if we can get the double. Come on. Oh, so close. Alright, let's see if we can get the double here. Nice. Alright. I should try to get one of rid of one of these kings. All right. There we go. So far, so good. Being able to one-shot enemy pieces makes this way easier than rank 15 in the base game already. Yeah, in the base game, rooks have way too much health to die in one shot, and same with queens. We don't fight queens at the start of the game. Okay, well, Taunting Hop is really good, so we're going to take Taunting Hop. And Lookout Tower, it's like, okay, any backups are just going to immediately show up. That's fine. We can, we can fight everyone. So, having, having only four ammo to work with, it's like... Yeah, that's something I'm going to have to deal with. But Taunting Hop does help me deal with ammo issues. Because it allows me to... Yeah, because I, anytime I do a movement, I can reload or regenerate ammo. You know this. And that includes Taunting Hop. And it's also just generally really good. Okay, let's just shoot the Rook. Goodbye, Rook. Um, Alright, I don't think I need to be too worried about kings, just because of how good Taunting Hop is. Like, look at this, yeah. Kings are no threat to me when I have Taunting Hop. So the fact that there are two of them, you know, it's fine by me. What was the, what was the difficulty modifier on rank 15 in the base game? I'm trying to, I'm trying to remember. It was... Interesting, no art for patience. Okay, sure, whatever. <laughs> it's a lot of, it's a lot of ammo and health. A two knights and a soul slot. Why did why so many soul slots? Make it so I can't kill knights in a single shot, but they're slow. And I get soul slots. Okay, having a lot of ammo will be really helpful. 
Uh, two to four range. So, I yeah, my shots are not going to be great from this range, but it's still better than <coughs> still better than moving closer and being in some kind of danger. Uh, oh, whoops. Uh, okay. I feel like the shield, the animation of the shield, is slightly different. Like a of a of a, of a kite shield going off. Um, right, get out of here. And all right. Um, I'm like kind of hoping I can, hoping I can um get a soul card that's not a knight. But that seems to be kind of difficult. Uh, is it a guaranteed kill if I shoot this pawn? I don't quite have perfect accuracy on this pawn, but I have so many extra pellets that it's fine. Okay. Cool. Now I have... I can't get any queen souls yet. Unless I really want to, like, wait for pawns to promote, which I'm really not interested in doing. So I might as well just get a soul of every type, other than a queen. Look at that, rook, bishop, and knight. For maximum flexibility. So I guess the fact that there are two kings makes the plus 10 king HP twice as impactful, but it still doesn't matter. Because by the time I have to deal with the king, it's easy enough. Okay. Um, yeah, rightful curtsies. You know, plus one fire range, getting it back up to three range would be pretty neat. But, you know, solid poison is pretty cool too. Upon turn five, so this is definitely a buff to the card because for the first four turns... The queen's not a threat anyway. Under most circumstances. Like, I guess in... Like, builds where I'm... Where I can shoot very early and then risk getting discovered checked. There's, there's like, that sort of issue. I'm just gonna shoot. I'm not gonna use my taunting cop. Alright. So... If I hop the queen... Then use a rook card to go here. And it seems fine. Alright. I have nine damage. Okay, cool. So. So I can definitely one shot a rook still. This rook has seven base health, and this rook has nine base health, but it's taken two damage. Uh, that's weird. The, the quirks of of the of the mod are, you know, it's, it's fine. Um, all right. Sure is a sure is a quirky mod, but that's okay. Oh come on! What a rude knight! Can you just promote to a queen like a normal person? All right. So I think because because the difficulty modifiers in this mod don't reduce your accuracy, like having a 75 degree base fire arc seems perfectly fine. Okay. No, I, I I do so much damage. I don't need I don't need to go for a blade build. Remove a king and a queen. Add a bunch of stuff on turn 35. Or add two things on turn... Add four pieces on turn 35. But, lookout tower. So that's going to actually be very early. Maybe that's not a good idea. Protects from death once per floor? What? Your bolts have 50... Okay, 50% pierce. Way less accuracy. More firepower. Okay. Interesting. So this implies that it would protect me from death, but that's... 
there's no way that a card like that would be balanced. It, it didn't protect the bishop from death. Why did I move forward like that? What am I thinking? Okay, let's just go here. Okay, this is a... Yeah. Wait, why is this queen not poisoned? So does this not affect queens that existed at the start of the round? Because if it doesn't, then that's a it's actually a big nerf to the card. Oh no. Only affects the reinforcements. Okay, um Okay, we're we're, we're safe here for now. Okay, yeah, this rook's gonna shoot. Rook goes here, hop, go to b4, which which is now safe because the pawns moved. Looks fine. Um, let's just fire widely, I guess. Oh, you know what we can do? Yeah, combine taunting hop with a with a soul card. It, it gives me a little bit of joy when I uh, when I have a when I can do that and it helps me. All right. Just get rid of the pawn and we're good. I think my damage is already high enough and my yeah my damage is already high enough that I don't that the that the damage from corner despot isn't really necessary and also losing accuracy isn't great okay crusades is still pretty dangerous on yeah with lookout tower I don't want to add two queens super early at three knights on turn 31 okay slow down backup cards a little bit not very much hmm. I think hmm. I think actually adding Queens is fine. And yeah. Let's see if we can get Okay, there we go. Alright. Um oh, so we don't have any queens right now. But yeah, so pretty soon... Okay, so those queens are poisoned. I don't have any queens at the start of the round anymore, so I don't get to see if Subtle Poison consistently makes the queen at the start of the round, like, not poisoned. Let's go here. Oh, I could have hopped and then, yeah. Wasted opportunity to use Taunting Hop. I can still use it. Uh, okay, don't want to get Discover checked. And... Alright. How many turns left? Oh, they're, they're, they're not poisoned anymore. If I really wanted to, I could have tried to, um, could have tried to, like, convert some of my bishop souls into queen souls. Uh, who cares? And now there are three kings, but I don't care because Taunting Hop is so good against kings that I'm still not in any danger. Alright. Well, Royal Loafers is really good. Um, 
Plus three fire range. That, that, that'll be nice. Both these options are pretty good. Uh, you see a Royal Loafers, you take a Royal Loafers, but still. I would have been happy with the other option. So yeah, Ascension and Red Book can be a kind of a dangerous combo, but like at the same time, it just makes it easier to bait the bishops into moving into your range so you can kill them. So like, it's not even, not as scary as you might think. All right. Um, okay, but the, the queens are poisoned, so I don't need to, not gonna get discovered checked. And, all right, let's go. I wanna shoot at the rook. Like the kings are gonna take long enough to kill that I don't really care about pushing damage onto them. I think pushing damage onto rooks is always valuable. Pushing damage onto anything that's not a king is always valuable. And yeah, yeah, always isn't like is is kind of a like the word always isn't like accurate in pretty much any situation, but still. Okay, you are not poisoned anymore. Which means you need to actually be somewhat mindful of what's going on. Okay, so we have two queens. Let's go get... Yeah, we'll have one of each piece plus two queens. Doesn't seem... That's not too bad. Oh, we actually have 11 damage now. Okay, well... And... There we go. End scene. Another barrel would be pretty cool. And... At the same time, being able to, like, deactivate... I don't know what I would want to deactivate. Um... Okay, add a queen on turn 20, so if I can get to the, well, I could just deactivate homecoming, that's just the, it's either homecoming or kite shield, I don't know. Probably kite shield, because it'll take two knights off the board, and it'll uh, get rid of their shields. But I don't want to deactivate a card that gives me a soul slot. Eh. I don't think I need a third barrel, and I don't want to deal with a shielded knight every ten turns. Especially with Lookout Tower. Yeah, Lookout Tower plus anything that gives periodic reinforcement seems like a bad idea. Alright. I don't have good fire range, so I gotta... Gotta wait until I have a good shot to actually take it. Um, okay, this is safe, that's safe, if I hop here, we're safe, yeah, that works, and, hmm, I don't think I need to go for this pentagram, I think hopping over here and getting rid of some rooks and queens would help. Um, Alright. So we already got all the reinforcements, so deactivating those cards is pointless. Um, let's just deactivate a queen. Get out of here. Alright. And... Yeah, I can just go here. We'll get a free reload. That hop wasn't 
particularly useful inherently, but the free reload I got is always going to be useful. Right, um, okay. Nice, got rid of the rook. You know, I gambled on that one shot against the queen when I had not one or two, but five soul cards. Very silly of me. Um, I don't really like August Presents. I don't really like Ammunition Depot. Yeah, we'll just get two more bishops. Why not? Two more bishops on turn, like, five, maybe. And Wand of Wings. It's always nice to have more of another backup. Alright, go up here and over here. Uh, yeah, that's safe. Man, Royal Loafers is such a good card. Alright. Uh, Taunting Hop for the freebie. Guess I'll just reload here. We have 11 turns of those queens being poisoned. Yeah, that's safe. Oh, I can't. Ugh. You can't hop on an enemy that's. You know, that's. That's on the edge of the board. Unless you're also on the edge of the board. Oh, well. Oh, I get to stack up three turns. It's. Not amazing value, but at least I can get the pentagram. Alright. And I replaced my my bishop soul with a queen soul. Wow. You know what? I can also replace my rook soul with a queen soul. Soon. All right. Yeah, like that. Now I have four bit four queen souls and a knight soul. Seems like a good ratio. Um, okay. Yeah, we can just kill the king in two shots. I'm glad that knockback went off, because if it didn't... Oh, no, I could, it could walk this way. Alright. Well, I think it's time to stab both kings for three. Wow, look at that. Look at that damage. It was a free action. Okay, now what? Um, yeah, so Karma is like a very beneficial card for me because it does nothing until turn 18. Well, actually, the reinforcements, the, the backups will come five turns sooner for every piece I kill, so this should turn on very quickly, but it's still still like gives me benefits. But you know what? I don't want to deal with looking at eight soul slots on the right side of my screen, so I'm just gonna take Ravenous Rat plus Castle. <laughs> what a silly reason to not take a card. And all right. All right, if I, I have not used my taunting hop yet, so let's we're we're gonna use it. And all right. Oh, actually, castle is like a benefit for me because I don't really care about doing damage to the. Uh, Oh, tried to add kings, but the board was too full? That's why there's only one king? Okay. 
But yeah, it's like I don't care about dealing damage to kings nearly as much as damage to rooks. So castle, the piece is castling is actually a benefit. <laughs> okay, I kind of want to win the run. So, like this card's spicy, but it could throw the run for me. I'm gonna just gonna take the extra barrel and the cavalry. All right. Um. Yeah, let's start start getting some reinforcements. Uh, all right. Yeah, I guess if I can trigger all the reinforcements cards at the same time, then all right, let's use this. I didn't actually like plan what I was going to do next. Okay, this is fine. If I get all the reinforcements cards on, like, the same turn, then <laughs> I'll take up too much space. Um, let's just give them less health. Whatever, who cares. And, yeah, I want to add the, uh, want to, oh, that, that bishop, or that queen, is able to attack me because I haven't activated subtle poison yet. Okay. Oh, it's on turn six. Okay. Well, whatever. It's just. Okay. So we added one king, but we didn't add a second king, and we didn't add any queens. Cool. So it's a it's a funny little thing you can try to do with. Um, if you have a lot of reinforcements. All right, and then yeah, that poor rook having to having to cover two kings didn't stand a chance. All right. I guess that you can't knock a piece back if you're taunting hopping over it while shooting it. Okay. So, let's see. Oh yeah, I wanna, wanna get as many kills as I can while all the pieces are still on the back row. Try to just overload the reinforcements. Um, yeah, I'll just poison their water, whatever. Maybe deactivating the. Mm, yeah, maybe deactivating the kite shield would have been smart. Anyway. Um, yeah, that's safe. We're not going to get discover checked by the rook. And, all right. Okay, all of the re reinforcement cards have officially been activated. And, oh, uh, yeah, I gotta move this way. And, all right. Okay, so yeah, as it turns out, rank 15 in this mod is easier than in the base game because it, it really just depends on whether you can one-shot enemy pieces or not. Like in the in the base game, you can't one-shot rooks, no matter what gun you start with, and you also have to have an answer to queens that you can't one-shot even with the Victoria at the start of the game. So, yeah, that wasn't too bad, and yeah, probably going to do one more run of this with maybe, like, maybe go with the Victoria instead. I, I, like, I already played some runs with the Solomon and the Ramses, and I show that the Richard is impossible on rank 14 and 15.
So next up is we're just going to play the Victoria, and then we're probably going to try a different mod. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.